I'm Cooper Holbrook. I'm class of 2022 outfielder at Porter Goud, committed to Vanderbilt, and this is what's in my baseball bag. So start off with cleats. Uh, these are special. I get so much flack for these uh, from my teammates and everywhere. I've worn these since I was a sophomore and they're kind of getting worn out and I fortunately just bought a pair off eBay yesterday, the exact same pair. These are 2014 Under Armour cleats with the fake sock on them and they've just always been my favorite cleat ever since ever since I first wore them. They're super light, they, they're really comfortable and uh, they're, they've just always been my favorite cleat, even though they look horrendous. And uh, they're, they're, they're something else. These have definitely seen their brighter days. But uh, yeah, I'm stick with them as long as I can. Going on, we got uh, my third base glove. I got this actually whenever I wanted to start picking up uh, third base, which was Right around when COVID hit, I knew I, I was pretty much just a first baseman corner outfielder and I wanted to be able to kind of stretch out to, to be able to play center more and uh, third base. So I got this glove and uh, just been sticking with it. I got at least, I think, a decent break on it. And uh, I like this glove. I definitely would recommend Wilson to, to everyone. I know a lot, a lot of my buddies are Rawlings guys, but I've always, love Wilson gloves so yeah let's stick with that um, going on to my outfield glove this has been by me since sophomore year I love this glove I'm probably gonna use it my senior year again for the third year straight use it for summers falls springs and I love this glove um, Wilson certainly makes the best outfield gloves and I wouldn't I, I wouldn't argue with that. I have two Wilson outfield gloves. I like this one the most just because it's light and it's just broken in the way I like. And uh, if you're out there and you're going to buy an outfield glove, 100% get Wilson. That's like not even a question. Batting gloves, we got Ad Marucci's right now. Uh, just been swinging these for a while with with these for a while now. Um, I, was, I was usually a Franklin guy. I honestly just started wearing batting gloves two years ago, and uh, I was a Franklin guy for a while. But then I really like these, so I'm gonna stick with these. I think till I, I get to college and wear Nikes. I think that I think that's what they use. So Marucci batting gloves. The wood piece. This is actually an interesting one. This is a Chandler um, CB135 maple bat, and this is actually from Will Crow, who is a pitcher for the Pirates. He, uh, whenever COVID hit, he he had a bunch of bats he never needed to use, and uh, he gave he gave me and my brother a few of these that I just love. This bat, I love the knob. I love the way it's weighted and it swings really nice and it's a 33 and a half uh, drop two and it just it's a log for sure got to get used to swinging it and it ball flies off of it and Chandler's definitely my favorite wood bat uh, old hickory's probably number two and uh, Louisville slugger number three but yeah really love this thing for the metal piece, we've got the Voodoo one. Been swinging this for now a few months, and I really like it. Uh, I was always a meta guy. I always swung the Louisville Slugger meta, and uh, now I switch over to this. I think it's given me a, a good amount of barrel control. So the 34 drop three Voodoo one is what we're working with now. 
definitely dig this stick. I don't even know what's in here. Got a belt, yeah, definitely. Always keep a spare belt in your bag. You do not want to go to your game forgetting a belt. That would that's an easy way to get pulls and have to run for days. So uh, kids always keep a spare belt in your bag just in case. Never want to forget that. Okay, this is an interesting one. Um, this is a roll of cotton tube of, that I use to cut into arm sleeves. So this is like kind of a, uh, this, this is a weird one. This was, I got this from the trainers here at College of Charleston. Um, and I, I take it, I'll cut about this much off and make it into an arm sleeve. It's tight, it's a compression sleeve. I'll either use this one or I'll wear a Nike sleeve, and like I really like them. Uh, I think they look cool too. I don't, I don't have, I don't have the most drip on the field compared to some of my friends, but uh, I dig these. Some people ask me where I like where I get them from, like they can't find them, but uh, yeah, I just look online for some like some medical compression sleeves, and this will do it for you. You can get like a 12 foot tube that'll work for you. Uh, yeah, that's an interesting one. Um, this is my buddy's pocket radar that I've had in here since uh, since uh, sophomore year. Um, don't really use it, and he spent $300 on it, and I've just had it in my bag since sophomore year. I don't think he even knows that I've had it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we love this thing, pocket radars. They're, uh, if you ever want to use them, measure how hard you're throwing, exit velo, they definitely work. Um, I honestly had no idea that was in there, that's kind of funny. Um, going on in here, PG Baseball, I think this was a home run that I just kept in here, but uh, yeah. Uh, always keep a baseball in there. Helmet, um, Diamond Devils helmet. Uh, that's my summer team that I've been with since I was 14. Always stick with them and um, love this helmet. Uh, love their program. John Rhodes, the guy uh, that ran, runs it, ran it ever since it started. He's a great guy and uh, I loved being a part of his program even though I was unfortunate to get hurt this summer and not be able to play. Definitely loved being there. And, um, yeah, I would recommend it to anyone in South Carolina to play Diamond Devils because he knows what he's talking about. The coaches are great and definitely works out for you. That little practice jersey, Diamond Devils jersey, I didn't even know I had in here. But yeah, Diamond Devils, they're great. First base mitt I've had since freshman year. Um, this has seen its brighter days, but uh, I played first base all growing up uh, until I got a little taller and a little bit faster and ended up moving to the outfield. So um, I always played first base. It's kind of been my backup position. If uh, say a team has, I'm playing with has five outfielders and no first baseman, I'll easily move over to first and be able to play there. It's uh, matched up so I can kind of play corner infield and then uh, have three positions in the outfield. I think that's important for everyone to try to be able to play as many positions as you can to because it just pre presents you with more opportunities to get on the field. So there's my first baseman. All three gloves are Wilson. Love all those. And um, but I think that's it. Other than a water that's probably five years old. That's uh what's in my baseball bag.